hybrid on Monday. I do not have to be alone in my classroom. I get kiddos. I get real life kids in their little desks in our space. It finally gets to be a classroom. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited. I've even waited till like the last minute. They come on Monday. It's Thursday. <laughs> and to be honest, I haven't said that because I just didn't believe it was going to happen. But I'm so glad that it is. So let me show you what I got going on because this is not going to be the easiest. So first, my kidney table in the middle of my desk needs to finally go back in its corner where it belongs. And this space finally gets to be filled with desks. So I get to move all my desks that are stacked up, spread them out into the room. I still have 13 kids that are deciding to stay on distance learning. I'm not happy about it, but I will take what I can get at this point because some kids is better than no kids. And if anything, it's just like what all these teachers have been begging for, smaller class sizes. So I'm at least glad I have some so I can really try my best to make an impact on the ones that I do have here. And of course, continue to try to build those relationships and make the impacts online. But my goodness, it's just so much easier in person. So, okay. Gotta get my desks out. I'll have seven on Monday and Tuesday. Thursday and Friday, I'll have five students. So I'll most likely just put out all those desks I need. So seven, eight, nine, ten, 12 desks. Ooh, 12 desks, 12 desks in here. My goodness, it's gonna be beautiful. Oh, so I have a standing desk that I still would like to incorporate, but it's a lot harder because they switched our laptops to desktops and our desktops don't fit on there. And therefore that is now just a really good tripod for me to set my phone on to take pictures from. That's all I'm I've used it for. I put my phone on there and I just wheel it around to wherever I want to take pictures. Cause you can adjust the height and it's just, if you don't have a tripod, mine broke. This is, so we are just finishing unit two. That means we're not distributing papers or everything for a solid week, maybe two. So I don't really know what I'm gonna have the kids do because I don't have, I don't have the papers. I gave the papers. So I can either review with old ones or, you, you know what, let's just get this room set up. I'll figure that out later. That's a whole other video. I'm gonna set you down and set up my classroom for hybrid. Let's go. Okay, so I got my 12 desks out and I just can't quite figure out how I wanna place them with them being six feet apart. So I've been using, I've been walking around with this and this is apparently four feet. So I'm trying to make sure all of them are four feet apart with a little extra, but also not too close to the front. That way I can walk and teach with just a shield on instead of a shield and a mask. So um, if you saw me putting tape on it, I have group A and group B, and that's for all of the couples. That way, that's some extra space with all the desks. So each team has someone from group A, someone from group B, but then there's a couple, like these ones in the middle that I don't know what to do with. I don't know if I should just like break them up, not even have them in a team, but just put them somewhere where they're six feet apart and where they can see the board. So yeah, I'm gonna keep messing around and yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here for today. I mean, I have my desk out. I'm just not a fan of the setup because, because my room is not a square or a rectangle. It, it's a weird shape. It's all wide back here, but then going towards the door, it just, and it narrows, and it doesn't help that I have my desk there to make it even more narrow. And right here, like there's so much space here, but my desk is right there and the door is right there. So if we're gonna line up by the door and going straight back that way, 
I gotta leave room. And it doesn't help that going straight back that way is at a slant. So I'm gonna sleep on it, see if I can come up with a better sleeping chart in my head, and try again tomorrow. I also have to get the kids' books in their desk. That means I have to make a seating chart, get their folders, pencil boxes, all the new beginning of the school year stuff. We're doing it. Full classroom setup, hybrid version. Day two, see you tomorrow. We're back, classroom setup, day two, let's go. Desks, I decided there is no better seating arrangement. So I'm sticking with this one. And I also realized that I split my desk up assuming that group A and B had the same amount. They don't. Group A for Monday, Tuesday has seven students and Thursday and Friday group B has five students. So I need to make sure that like the ones that are by themselves or whatever are actually still separated from, you, you, you know, you get what I'm saying. Okay, I'm so tired today. I'm tired, my allergies are killing me. I'm just about ready to chop off my nose. I'm over it. But I have too much that I have to do to be able to leave early. I'm supposed to be able to leave at two now on Fridays. It's gonna be one o'clock. There's no way I'm leaving here at two, zero. But it's okay. So I have, I got rid of the desks, the leftover desks that we went over, but this blue cart, I still have it for a backpack, even though we're not allowed to bring backpacks and there's nothing I can do with it. I have my spare desk back there because I put my other one up front by the door. That way it can hold my hand sanitizer and extra masks that we have. Anyway, now that I got the desk up, I'm going to throw yellow up on these boards. I'm pretty sure those are gonna be, oh, BRB. Oh, did I not send that? I swear I got three emails today about attendance and I still didn't turn it in. Yes, I'll do that right now. <laughs> Okay, bye. Another day in paradise for getting attendance. I swear I literally got through emails and I'm like, I already did it. I already did it. No, <laughs> I didn't do it. The emails were directly aimed at me. And meanwhile, I thought it was obviously someone else. Okay, let me take attendance, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, attendance is in today. I'm going to decorate these walls. I'm still not quite sure. I'm just gonna get some paper up there and then I'll figure out what to do with it. And then I'm getting these walls up because these ones are going to be for my fluency and high frequency word trackers. Then I need to make this wall my grammar wall. I normally do that on the back three, which I still might just because I, I never really use the grammar wall to be honest. Like, so I might do this here to remind me to use my grammar wall because I'm the worst at updating it. Maybe it's because I'm terrible at grammar, but I feel like I've made it this far. I'm a teacher, I got my master's. I suck at grammar. It's okay, I'm okay, we can make it. So my love for grammar is just. Anywho, I need to stop talking and get to work as usual. Let me set you down and get started. Another thing that I have absolutely no idea what to do with. I have all of their books and I don't know what to do with them because here's my thing. Realistically, we're gonna be in hybrid for maybe three weeks. Let's be real because it's winter. Things are about to get crazy. We are probably gonna go back to virtual learning at some point. I don't think this is a new beginning, you know? Realistically, if I put these books in their desk and they are hands-on, that means I'm not gonna be able to send them home whenever we do go back virtual because we can't be cross whatever. So, I don't know. So, I don't know what to do with these books. I need to store them somewhere, but I also need them to be accessible so I can rip out the pages. Again, to my list of things I don't know what to do with, that's one of them. So I'm going to do the equivalent of what all kids do when their mom says clean your room, and I'm just going to stuff these books somewhere. Okay. Okay, so I found my math talk and my multiplication ice cream sundaes. Ice cream Sundays, I don't, I need to do something for multiplication, but I don't know if I will be able to do ice cream Sundays. I need to do something that even if we do virtual learning or whatever, there can be a reward for it. Some, okay. Math talk, I originally had in the back wall back there, but I realized that my kids never really turned around to look. And then now with everything going on, they probably shouldn't be turning around much. So I think I'm gonna change my plan, put math talk up here because I found the kids looked at it easier. And then back there on those three boards, I said I didn't know what to do with. I'll do my fluency, high frequency word, meter, growth, language. Okay. 
So I'm doing a math talk wall. Subtraction, multiplication, division is on hold until we get there. Math talk is complete. Now I need to get back to the desks and the important things that need to be done. So let's get seating chart, books, pencil boxes. I am going to the beautiful supply closet to see if they have more crowns and more pencils. Oh, I need to make my school order. Well, I'll get crowns. <laughs> okay. Each kid is going to get a pencil pouch. And again, I only have 12 kids coming in. So I'm gonna set up their pencil pouches. In each one, they will get two pencils, a box of crayons, two little erasers, one big eraser, a glue stick. I think that's it. All right, and then I'm going to write their name on a card that goes inside the front pocket of each pencil pouch. And then I forgot, last thing, I like to put red pens in there because we do a lot of correcting together. So, sometimes I like to do highlighters, but last year my kids got super excited over these red pens. I'm gonna throw these in there real quick. Okay. Am I dumb? Everything that says 12, I'm not finding 12. So these look pretty cool, right? The front pocket, they have their note card. There's nothing else in the front pocket, so there's no reason for them to take that out. I need one more red pen because I can't count. Okay, pencil pouches are done. Now I'm going to create a seating chart, put these things in there and start getting their books and all the goodies inside. I do not have name tags, cause uh, I don't know, just not prepared, I guess. But I do have, but I do have sentence strips. So this is what I'm gonna use for their name tags or just duct tape. Plus they think it looks really cool because they think it's clear. We shall see. I am as indecisive as they come. I'm not dumb and don't know how to count. They added another person in my group A. So 
So now my group A has eight and my group B is five. Why it's not more equal, I have no idea. But, okay. I need to add in my backup desk. Now where to add the backup desk is the question. Okay, so I think the first day I'm going to do this Tom Turkey, which is a problem solution, then box up antonyms, and this word search as our morning work. This is a review from the first unit because we just finished unit two. So I'm just mostly doing a review for this first week. Plus we have Thanksgiving break the following week. So really get through the first week. I think I'm gonna do a writing activity and that's about all I got planned. I have an observation Monday, first day of hybrid at 8.30. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know whose idea that was. That is just not, not cool, but I'm working with it. All right, so I'm closing up shop here. We got math wall up. I was able to put our rules up and then I didn't know, okay. I didn't have time to do this wall, but I'm just gonna throw that yellow or the wood up there and then make that our high frequency fluency tracker. And then this, I just threw up some writing posters for right now. That'll definitely look more organized as, just, just give me a little time and then I will organize that the way I want. But so far those should be helpful in some way or another. There's personal narrative there. So we are going to be working on narrative writing this week. And yeah, I'll keep you posted how the first week goes. As for classroom setup, hybrid style, this is it. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys.